Hello and welcome back to Direct Strike, where today we're going to be showing off Nova. Not, but not just the usual Nova play. We're going to be showing off Bio Nova, and Bio Nova has a um, interesting quirk in that it's almost exclusively worse than going Mech Nova because you know Nova's strength is in the technology. You have the giant Goliaths, you have the siege tanks, which are just like memes among themselves. So we're going to be going to be kind of ignoring all of those. It looks like I have a teammate that's going to be doing the same thing. But there is one thing that Bio Nova does well, and that is early game pressure. Because the Marines Nova has available to, uh, well, in this commander, is quite um, extremely strong. They're like, they're super strong. Especially once you get this super stim pack that makes them heal mid-combat. Hmm. It's just kind of ridiculous. So we're going to be using a lot of those, and we're just going to be spamming them out. Now, obviously, bio bio will kind of degrade as time goes on, becomes less efficient. It's not going to be good enough to last us the entire game, but there's a very, very good chance that we get ahead and are able to stay ahead. Just because we've gone so heavy into bio in the early game. Now, we've got three marines down, which doesn't seem like much, and to be honest, it's not that much. But... We're going to have four for this wave, and they are quite strong. Now, normally Marines, they don't have much HP. These suckers got 150 HP, and they hit really hard. So, <laughs> we're going to get to watch them just cleave through, cleave through the enemies here. Let's see. Looks like we're going to be spawning against a Hanan Horner. It hasn't spawned, spawned anything yet, which is probably an indicator they're going to go for stealth. So I'm going to need tier 2 here. And Status hopefully report. there's no wraiths coming in. Okay. Just shut that down real quick. Um, I suspect he's going for wraiths off of tier 2. Which would beat me only because they are invisible and I do not have detection. But once we, uh, once we get detection here, we should be alright. It's just concerning that he hasn't spawned anything yet, and it's already been uh, two minutes into the game. One more? No! I was hoping to get off that last snipe. Oh well. Okay. Put down our marines. And we are not going to be reach tier 2 before a wave spawns, but that's fine because our, our stealth detection is on an upgrade. Okay, so there is a widow mine there. It is stealth, which may be a concern because we have a lot of marines. See, I didn't see wraiths in that, but it's possible they're just further back. Uh, nope, nope. He's um, he's teching up to something, or saving his mi minerals for something. Just hasn't shown us what it is yet. Uh, there is something that a lot of Han and Honers like to do, and it's never a good idea. And that is Battlecruiser Rush. And the reason it's not a good idea is because they're just not great units for their cost. Sure, they have their use, they're really good versus things like, I don't know, Carrick's Mirages. Not great versus Nova, because Nova has access to Strike Goliaths, and Strike Goliaths kind of obliterate everything in the sky. It's, um, it's a thing. So those battle cruisers, if he goes for them, not gonna work out. Now, I'm questioning what he's actually gonna do, because you can see here, between me and my ally, who is really, he doesn't have units actually, what is he doing? Oh, he's just tier 3 rushing. It's, I guess it's just, ah, here they are! That's what we're, that's, that, those are gonna, those are gonna be a mild concern. They have AoE on their weapons, so they can burn down my marines quite quickly. Or at least eat by the group, but we do have marines that are strong. We'll be able to clean them up anyways. Even doing it while fighting on the uh, on the turrets here. Oh, those are that's an impaler. Okay. Both these guys here. There we go. Now, once we hit tech level three, because we're going to need to do that relatively soon. Those those Deimos Vikings will scale a lot faster than our Marines will. Marines really don't scale very well. In fact, they kind of like have an anti-synergy, where the more of them you have, the more likely they're to get all killed by the same explosion. 
So we need to be getting off mar pure marines and moving on to Nova's other bio units. Namely, the, uh, the hollow decoy. Now, granted, the ghosts are quite good in certain cases. Um, those cases are usually versus anything Zerg. Or if there's like heavy amounts of spellcasters and a protest army kind of idea. We're uh, against a mechanical opponent, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to justify them here. However, the hollow decoys, they serve the great purpose of just taking damage. Uh, they also do quite well in the seagull target damage as well, but that's... Uh, it's not good. It's not going to be something that's too important right now. There's not a whole lot of good single targets for them. I mean, the Daimos Vikings are all right, but they do teleport around, so that's a little bit of a mess. Uh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of widow mines in there, buddy. He's got detection on his Nova, so he should be able to clean those up. There it is. Okay, so no leaks. That's fine. That's good. We've got 2-2, two, two. we'll get this upgrade, get our refinery, and then go to tier 3 to unlock our hollow decoys. With the hollow decoys, we should have the Deimos Vikings shooting the decoys rather than our marines, and letting the marines do the damage. Because as you can see, the marines, they already beat the, the vikings just straight up. Just pound for pound, the marines are better. Pound for pound, these marines are just, uh, they're amazing. But... I am so concerned he's going to get things like Widow Mines or really anything with AoE and we're just going to have a real bad time. And of course i got to keep up my economy, that's going to slow it down even further. And that's the concern about Marines, they're really good early game, they fall off super hard as time goes on. Now let's see if, oh dear, all the detection went away, all the detection went away, I am going to scan, I am going to scan. Have those stalkers eat the hits for my teammate here. My teammate's gone hollow decoys. Yeah. But he doesn't have the DPS in the back line to support it, so that's not gonna. not really gonna help him out too much. Whereas we are already made out of death in the form of many Marines. <laughs> those Deimos Vikings, they just melt! Look at that! And all of our Marines, they're wounded because the Deimos Vikings, they do AoE, but they're just healing up! Look at this! He's already healed up so much. Even poor Dahaka here, his units are dying. He got the worms that they didn't survive. Dahaka himself isn't going to make it. There we go. Come on. Clean everything up. Almost got it. There's an invisible lurker. Impaler doing impaling things. We'll get three, three marines before getting the... Uh, Hollow decoys. I don't think it's an emergency that we need the hollow decoys right this instant. So I'm, I'm willing to let the 3-3 uh, three, three marines get their upgrades before the hollow decoys come out. But the hollow decoys will be next time. Oh, well, there are the widow mines. Now that means that we're in the emergency scenario where we need those, uh, need those hollow decoys like as soon as possible. Let's see how well we do here or no. Watch what happens to these marines. Yep. Kaboom. Do we still win this? Of course we do, because these marines are really good. We don't get much further, though. Okay, shotgun those down, please. Just get a little bit more damage out. Okay. So we want to get the hollow decoys, and we may actually... If we continue winning this, the ghosts would be an alright call. As well, the ghosts themselves are right trash versus Han and Horner. They are very, very good versus Dahaka. Because Dahaka doesn't really have the option to just spam out cheap units like Zerglings, because Dahaka Zerglings aren't exactly cheap, and they don't have a purpose outside of just eating singular shots of snipe. And of course, our, our snipes hit three targets, so it kills three Zerglings, which is um, not... It's still, a, it's still an alright trade, it's just not as effective as a trade as Dahaka really needs in order to, uh, well, push forward and win the game. So that's that's what we're going to be betting on, that when we build ghosts, that they will be ghosts that are designed solely for the purpose of dealing with Dahaka. Yeah, those, uh, we need more hollow decoys. You see how long that one hollow decoy lasted, but it, uh, it didn't take enough hits. Our entire left flank was obliterated before, and it was quite bad. Oh my god, that did so much damage. And that's why you don't want to leak. That's just half of my teammates, almost half of my teammate stalkers, just shy of half, lost 
half of their health, which is like 25% of my teammates' wave was obliterated HP-wise by one unit that I leaked from my wave. Don't leak into your teammates' waves, friends. Always win your waves. It's not worth it. It's so many widow mines. So many widow mines. I think I need to scatter these guys to have two lines, one in the front, one all the way in the back. Got all these marines out here in the side, they're getting widow mined. But alright. Now that we have the hollow decoys in front, we're able to on at least one on each side, we're able to have some marines survive and do their do their damage. Hmm. I'll leave the marines there for now, but if we get another really bad wave where the widow mines just kind of eat everything we have, then I'll I'll have them move around a bit. Good. Nova's just working on whatever Nova's working on. He's trying to shoot down the Impaler. That's uh, a lot of HP to work through. There you go. Okay, let's get another one of these all the way in this corner here. That should keep our left flank safe for the damage. Ah. <laughs> uh. The hollow decoys are doing so much work, even out of my teammate. Alright, let's see. How does this pan out now that we have three hollow decoys? Also a line of siege tanks in the back. Apparently the siege tanks killed like all the widow mines, and the widow mines retaliated by killing everything around the siege tanks. It's just Nova siege tanks are super good. Remember I said Nova mech is really good? Those siege tanks are really good. Does he not have detection? I think he used all three of his he used all three of his detection worms, so no more detection out of you, friend. Oh, there's some palers. They survive everything. That's just um they got a lot of HP. Alright, well, let's get another, another one of these guys right over here. Nice. So now we're up to four. And I think we can afford getting a line of marines all the way in the back. To survive whatever this nonsense of fireworks is. Alright, okay. Those fireworks need to go away before my marines up here, please. Thank you. Whatever fireworks are happening here just needs to just stay away from the marines. Good god. The problem that we're having now is the marines are killing the widow mines, and the widow mines have an ability that basically launches one attack, one Widowmind attack at whatever killed it. So it's um, killing up my Marines, which is not fun. That's indicated that we need to have a little bit more spread in the Marines here. Give them some time to uh, uh, die one by one in a volley of fire. Okay, let's do this, 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 and this. Let's scatter you guys a little bit further back. Right here and here. Here. We need to go here. Here and here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Very good. How does this wave go? Uh. Oof. But we still have some fresh marines coming in from the back, and that will help us push forward. Nice. Very good. Look at all the marines that survived. Oh, well, Dahaka doing Dahaka things. Just eats ten marines right, up the, right out the gate. That's, uh, that's fun. Need more marines. Feed them to the slaughter. Okay, I think it is now finally time for some ghosts. We are consistently having units survive to the Dahaka wave, and ghosts are notorious for surviving because they're invisible all the time. 100% of the time. And if ghosts survive to the Dahaka wave, then they can deal massive amounts of damage. As you've seen, our just regular heroic ghosts, Nova, just kind of chill out in the back line for indefinite periods of time. Uh, let's get our next gas, just in case this game goes much longer. Ideally, I would have gotten it a while ago, which is kind of concerned about getting out those uh, anti-widow mine units. Yeah, we're definitely keeping the... Um, the ghosts all the way in the back. Way in the back where they're not going to get fireworked. 
but we're almost completely offset now, so my wave needs to be focused on dealing with Dahaka at this point. And the Marines are doing a great job of it. Like, to be honest, this is the one thing that's always nice about the Marines. They deal a ridiculous amount of damage. The only thing that makes them bad in the late game is that they're way, way too vulnerable to, uh, to AoE. And they just, they just die so fast. They die so fast, guys. Like, I'm doing everything I can, every strategy known to try to keep these guys alive against this amount of AoE. It's not even that much AoE, it's just a, it's just a Widow Mines. Like, Dahaka doesn't even have his AoE. He's got no Creeper Hosts going, and there's no, like, Banelings, there's not, no Siege Tanks. It's just Widow Mines. And we're having a hard time keeping these guys alive, but that's, uh... <laughs> uh that's... That's one of the, the strengths and weaknesses of Nova Bio. Oh my god, there are so many survivors. Look at all the Widow Mines. Yep. Let's put Marines. Ouch. Okay. Got it. Nope. Nope. Okay. They explode. Get up to two ghosts. We'll get triple tap next. Unless I can get one more ghost in, I think I can get one more ghost in. They could triple tap, as, get the up upgrade for their weapons as uh, as they're marching across the fields. Yes, indeed. So we have three ghosts this next wave along with triple tap. I'm not worrying too much about the EMP right now. Uh, there's nothing terribly worth EMPing. I don't think any of the energy units are on the field right now. Yeah, there's no energy units on the field right now out of anyone, I don't think. So there's no needs for EMP, and there's no Protoss, so we don't have to worry about shields. EMP on the Planetary Fortress, yeah, it's not worth spending that amount of money for it. Look at them. Mm. There's so many explosions. Like, I love the explosions, you guys know this. I just don't like it when that's on top of my units. That's so many. Okay. If we kill the Dahaka, we also kill his detection. I don't think we're going to get the Dahaka here. Come on, get... Nope! Almost got it. At least it's going to go away super fast. Yeah, bye, Dahaka. Which means we need another ghost, or two. A little bit more... Just alpha strike damage. Should be able to burn down the Dahaka. Because Dahaka is very weak on the detector side. He doesn't have any units proper, like overseers, that provide just permanent detection. The only detection he has are his three worms, which Dahak is currently using as just damage amplification to snipe off key units on our field. And Dahaka himself is a detector once he reaches, I think it's level five that unlocks it, if I recall correctly. So if we kill Dahaka himself, and he uses his worms for just damage amplification. Then there's no detection on the field, and our dudes can just kind of live forever sniping things. Now, unfortunately, we kind of got uh, obliterated by the massive amounts of widow mines, which is probably an indicator that we need more hollow decoys and fewer other units. But we'll see how that works out. <sighs> now, one thing that is interesting is that the Hellbat Rangers could be useful here. They they serve a similar purpose to the Hollow Decoys. They're just not quite as good. They're more focused versus uh, smaller, lighter targets, which there isn't a whole lot of. The Widow Mines kind of fall under that category. Kind of. So we could get those. The thing is, while the Hellbat Rangers are biological, they don't get any upgrades. They, they use the mechanical upgrades, so I'd have to get upgrades for them as well, specifically for their weapons if I want to be using them for uh, for clearing out Widow Mines, and I don't think that's, that's really the goal here. It's not going to solve our problems. Okay, holler decoys. I need you in the rear. Come in second wave. And then one more hollow decoy question mark before the next wave spawns. I think I got it. Just slap this guy right there. Yes, perfect. Nice. Beautiful. Someone is lagging. Who is it? 
All right. Well, unfortunately, it appears that one of our opponents has uh, has disconnected. Probably some internet connectivity issues. And that was the Dahaka player. He was basically the only reason we had ghosts, and probably I think the only reason the enemies were able to stay in the game here. Because now it's just the two Han and Horner players with their widow mind spam, which means my wave is just is, is in a perpetual nightmare now. Um, it also means that my allies should be able to perform notably better than we just. Now, I know I built my wave to be able to deal with Widow Mind Spam to the best of its ability. I did not expect it to be as effective as it was right there. Uh, do you know what? I'm okay with this. We're going to be moving on. Now, unfortunately, the ghosts aren't going to be doing much good for us anymore because there's no biological targets, so snipe is um, not a thing. Not a thing that's usable for us. So we're just going to get some more of these guys going. That's so many widow mines. Siege tanks are definitely the good call here. Really anything air to ground would work very well. The unfortunate thing is the Deimos Vikings are also really good at doing air to air. <laughs> I like how they can't keep their detectors alive. Which is funny to me. So many firework. We are winning on the ground. The hollow decoys are doing things. It's the um, now it's the aircraft that are causing problems for us. Oh, empower me is here, boys. Alarak is here to play. Oof. How many kills did you get with that? Twenty-four. That's quite a lot. That's that's a fair few, if you, if you, if you ask me. Okay, I think I think it is as much as I like to be sticking to the general theme. I don't think there is a means of coming out of this without transitioning into some mech units here. There are just way too many widow mines. Some commanders just they have the options to deal with it, and as you see, we, the strike goliaths are doing great things, and those are the units. Those are exactly the units we need here. We can clean up anything we need, except for the aircraft at this point. Only because the marines, while they're good at clearing up the aircrafts, they're not quite good enough at surviving the widow mines, which is their, their biggest downside. Okay. Yeah, we need we need the Goliaths in here. Let's keep them spread out as well for minimizing the explosion. Explosion damage! And once we get the lockdown rockets, we can kind of remove all these assault galleons and anything out of the air. Conveniently, the Goliaths are really good at just tanking. Usually, in a standard Nova line, it's actually the Strike Goliaths that are your tanks, as good as the Hellbat Rangers are. The Strike Goliaths, they're just so much better in HP, HP value. And also, Strike Goliaths are ranged, they don't suffer from being melee units. They're they're quite good units. I, I approve of them strongly. Uh, do we clean this up? I think my wave should come close to cleaning this up. Uh, the concern is they will then face the next wave of Widow Mines. Look at them all just marching across the field and just sticking their heads in the ground and give, all the fireworks happen. All the fireworks happen, guys. Oh, we got the oh, we got all the detectors. Neat! Three ghosts survive that. Unfortunately, ghosts not great at um. Oh, he got something. He got something biological. What was it? Oh, he had a hellbat. That's what it was. That player. Remember that hellbat player? That that very first hellbat that's been there the entire game. Yeah, that is still in still in his wave, and it got insta sniped by one of our ghosts. <laughs> that's funny to me. Okay. Time for some more Goliaths. Not enough minerals. Tatcom online. Not enough minerals. Let's get the lockdown rockets and the targeting system to enable them to fire at longer ranges and bring down all of those things out of the sky. There we go. Nice. Good. No. Now that was good. A lot of explosions went off on not marines. Now, of course they have enough to also kill off the marines, but a lot of explosions hit non-marine targets. That makes me happy. 
Pretty glides. On glides needed. I realize tier 4 is available. Uh, I am not going to get tier 4 because that's not going to help my units survive. The issue my units are having right now is they are unable to survive the AoE just because there is so much of it. So I need to transition to units that can survive the AoE, which is somewhat more important than having better units. Or just overall stronger units, like what is it, 5% more damage output per upgrade. It is much better investment for you right now just to have Goliaths. And yeah, it's, that's the long and the short of it. Yeah, the marines, they, the mines are quite strong. I saw this coming a mile away. Yeah. They have a counter? Uh, you depends on... Yeah, the uh, mothership is really good versus it. Versus the, marine, versus the mines. Because the mines, their retaliatory attack can't hurt air targets. So... Things like the Taldrian Mothership can just kill the infinite amount of marines and uh, mines, and the mines really can't do much about it. The problem with the Mothership is it dies horribly to Deimos Vikings, and there's already several of those on the field. I think I think he's got enough Mothership in play, however, to kind of kind of overwhelm everything, which is the way to do it. Yes. Nope, that's that's still too many Demos Vikings. Th those Vikings are just hilariously good, good versus mother ships. And I think we can get one more Goliath. It's right at the end. It's perfect. One second remaining. Another Goliath on the field. Nice. Let's go ahead and get the plating upgrades. Actually, we're going to hit most of spell damage. Let's get the uh, weapons upgrades first. Do things. Oof. Okay. We're gonna have to get some siege tanks mixed in as well, but I want another line of Goliath to go with that first. Now, my wave has no aircraft, so all those Deimos Vikings have to land to deal with me. Which is kind of convenient. Because I don't really have aircraft that are worth worth keeping alive in the air. The Liberators are, are extraordinarily good. Like, one of the most powerful units in the entire game. The Great Liberators, available to Nova. Uh, but they also die horribly to Deimos Vikings, so... Not a great call at this point. Definitely not going to try to contest the air with my current army composition. <laughs> Our decoys are still alive. Albeit, we lost the ones in the middle. Maybe an indicator that we need to get another decoy in the middle here. Just slap him in the rear. Uh, we are getting pushed. You can see by the cannon taking damage. I think we're going to lose it here, actually, which is kind of unfortunate. Widow Mines have the benefit of, uh, well, side effects. Weakness? of not being able to attack structures. So we don't have to worry about that, but they do have a lot of other units here that are causing problems for us. Namely, all the other units. All right. Another one of these guys. And... Let me see if I can grab my turret, bring it back in time. Get it. Get it. No. Vikings, stop it. Vikings, no. All right, guys. If you want to see more episodes of StarCraft and all things RTS, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we have more videos coming soon. But for now, I'll see you guys later.